Abrazuli, Orange County, California. We are in the ASME B31.3 with some problem to solve. Uh, our first problem is uh, a, a pipe that uh, the, the question provides us, the problem provides us with the design pressure of the 400 psi. This is our given. Our design temperature is 750 degree Fahrenheit and our material of construction is 8 inch NPS nominal pipe size of a106 grade B, you know that's the A106 grade B is very common uh, process piping uh, pipes and is a seamless. All grade of the A106 are seamless pipe. And uh, the problem provides us with the corrosion allowance of the 0.125 inches and uh, asking us to determine what is going to be pipe schedule and it's not providing us with any uh, mechanical allowances, you know, the, the, the allowances might uh, need to be added to the, this uh, thickness regarding the, the weight of the pipe and the structure and other, uh, you know, allowances. Just says the corrosion allowance. So we're going to consider only this. So what's going to be our pipe schedule? Then on, this is covered on the ASMEB 31.3, 304.1.1 provides the formula with, uh, for us. And it says TM, which is the minimum required uh, thickness, equal to the T pressure design thickness. It means the thickness, the wall thickness that we need uh, uh, just to have to resistance about the internal pressure. So it is my pipe. This is a 2-inch pipe, but our problem is 8-inch. But the concept is the same. We want to, you know, determine what wall thickness we need on this pipe to withstand against of this pressure and then we are going to add some more thickness more wall thickness for corrosion allowance and then determine the what pipe schedule we need so pressure design thickness the the wall thickness we need to overcome with the internal pressure static pressure and plus the corrosion allowance i wrote it down the formula in here i got it from the 304.1 and it's the barlow formula you know it's a barlow formula with some modification actually they put some safety factors and other things normally there's a uh, there is the same formula for pressure vessel for pipe for pipeline they change they add something they remove something but it's the same of the Barlow formula, this, uh, which is modified one is a 304.1.1 and P is a design pressure and D is the outside diameter, which is uh, our uh, pipe is 8 inch nominal pipe size and then S is allowable stress, which uh, we're going to go and uh, read this allowable stress at the design temperature from the A1 table in the end of the B31.3. There is a table over there, which is, uh, is a combination of the design temperature and the material. So we're going to locate this over there and to see what is our allowable stress at 750 degree Fahrenheit. And then W is the weld joint strength reduction factor normally is a one. It can be considered when that your temperature is more than 900 degree Fahrenheit and, and not for a uh, regular carbon steel. So if this value is more than 950 deg uh, degree Fahrenheit, then you can go to the, this formula to see what is this. And there's a table for that, that you can go and read the value for that. And this might increase a little bit uh, our wall thickness. But normally for most of the problem, since our temperature is less than 900 degree Fahrenheit, it is going to be one. And then we are having the joint efficiency uh, or joint quality factor, which is nothing to do with the circumferential joint. This is a circumferential joint. When we're talking about the joint quality factor, we're talking about the long seam. So if there is a seamless pipe like this two inch pipe, which is a A106 grade B and is a seamless pipe. So there's a no joint there. You have to consider that as a one. But if there is a welded, there is a table for that that we can go and read and then put the, some values in here, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then get the higher thickness to, uh, for, uh, because of that 
welded joint. By the way, for our case here, probably it's going to be one because uh, is the material construction is A106 and we know A106 uh, grade B is all grades in A106 are seamless pipe. P is the same and the uh, Y is the coefficient that there's a table provided in the 304.11 we can go and read that and it's uh, dependent on the temperature so for uh, this temperature we can go and check that and, and get the value here so what we did we were going to put the numbers on this formula we are going first to calculate this part of the equation we are having the 400 psi this comes in here then we are not going to put here the nominal pipe size we're going to put here uh, outside diameter you know from the uh, uh, zero, uh, 0 inch to the 12 inch normally outside diameter is not the same amount as the nominal pipe size normally is a little bit higher than the nominal pipe size but after the 12 12 inch including like 14 inch there's a nominal pipe size is going to be equal to the outside diameter so we can we can get the outside diameter from the different sources one of them is a semi b30 uh, 36.10 which is just uh, made for this purposes so you go over there and check to see what is the od for uh, 8 inch pipe or the simplified one is provided in the api 574 there's a three or four page uh, table that you can go and read there eight inch and you can get the internal diameter uh, outside diameter and, and also weight and other information so we got uh, this value from the api 574 which we put in here 8.625 which is actual od of the pipe for eight inch pipe so uh, we put the two in here and then allowable stress we went already to a1 a1 table and we located the seven uh, we located the this material a106 grade b and with this temperature and we got the this value 13,900. our w is one like i said our temperature is less than 900 degree fahrenheit and our pipe is seamless so joint quality factor also is going to be one because it's the seamless pipe by the way if your pipe is not seamless you have to go to the a1b table and read your joint quality factor for the pipe that you want to use and then the same pressure and then why we got the from the table so it's a point four. most most of the time it's a point four, but there's a table which is the uh, is related to the temperature the design temperature that we can get that number from the table so our pressure design thickness is 0.123 inches it means i need this wall thickness with this material with this allowable stress to be able to resist against uh, you know internal pressure so if the problem asking you to uh, calculate the pressure design thickness your, your job is done we're not going to go to the next step so you're going to select the right answer because it's a multi-choice question and then it's done but here asking us to determine what's the schedule so we have to add other allowances we just have a corrosion allowance i, I added that 0.248 inch now i have to do one more action in here because the pipe mill to uh, tolerance here is 12.5 inch for this material if you go to the astm a106 grade b and open this standard and you're going to see there is a wall thickness uh, tolerances provided over there so whatever it is as a nominal wall thickness for this pipe it can be go below 12.5 percent or above uh, the wall thickness 12.5 percent so it means if you are ordering a pipe and its thickness is less than 12.5 percent of the nominal thickness it can it, it's, it's it's okay it's it, we can't reject uh, that pipe uh, actually because this is the tolerances that provided by the uh, standard to us so we have to consider that tolerances in our design what if we get the pipe and it was the minus 12.5 percent you know reduced thickness because of the you know fabrication process 
actually mm, I can say manufacturing process and then uh, this is going to affect the whole uh, calculation and 12.5 percent is not a low value it's it's a lot so that's why we're going to consider that 12.5 percent by dividing the value that we got from here to the 0.875 inch I deducted 12.5 from the one and then I get this value 0.875 that is going to increase our wall thickness to be uh, to consider uh, in our wall thickness then I get the new value 0.283 inch so this is uh, the the, uh, the thickness that uh, we calculated in here now we are uh, we have to go again back to the ASME B30 uh, 36.10 or API 574 which is a simplified one and it's available in the API 574 we named it pipe schedule table and to see what schedule we can select for our pipes I go over there and I find the line for 8 inch and the 8 inch schedule uh, 30 is 0.277 and schedule 40 is 0.30 Q2 so I can't select this because I'm a little bit short so I have to go one uh, schedule above which is 8 inch schedule 40 which is 0.322 which is going to be higher than this value and it's going to cover my design so answer is 8 inch MPS A106 grade B schedule 40 this is the way we're gonna solve the problem so it depends sometimes it asks you only uh, pressure design thickness sometimes they ask you uh, you know required thickness uh, when it's asking you the required thickness you're gonna go up to this process and uh, this uh, mill tolerances is not gonna be uh, worked out but when it's asking you to determine the pipe schedule you have to also consider uh, the pipe mill uh, tolerances on your calculation and then determine what schedule you need to use okay this was about this uh, problem we are having a similar <laughs>